Good morning, my universe. Welcome to Vision Podcast. I'm Biju Rajan, and this podcast is presented by Biju Network. I'm here to connect entrepreneurs and dreamers with stories, ideas, and infinite opportunities across the planet by leveraging internet tools and individually as a person using vision technique. Today's podcast is the continuation of podcast number five, part two, Vimanas. A vimana is a word with several meanings ranging from temple or palace to mythological flying machines described in Sanskrit texts like the Yajurveda, Mahabharata, Samarangana, Sutradhara, Rigveda, Ramayana and even older ones. As well as being able to fly within Earth's atmosphere, vimanas were also said to be able to travel into space and travel underwater. In today's world, it is called as UFO or USO. Vimanas of various shapes and sizes with two or more engines were sophisticated flying machines equipped with deadly weapons. And though they were used for ordinary travel and transports, their main purpose was warfare. Vimanas can fly at great heights with aid of quicksilver and a great propulsive wind. These Vimanas could apparently travel vast distances and maneuver upwards, downwards and forwards. Some Vimanas were saucer shaped while others were cigar shaped. The Vimanas often described as shiny flying cars or celestial cars were kept in Viman Graha a type of hangar. In the Ramayana, we have descriptions of a special airplane called as Pushpak Vimana. The plane originally belonged to Pera, who was half-brother of Ravana, the demon king and arch-villain in the story of Ramayana. Pushpak Vimana was built by Vishwakarma, a celestial architect, under the orders of Brahma, the god of creation. Pushpaka Vimana was a gigantic plane of the size of a large city entirely, capable of holding unlimited number of people. So that was podcast number 6, part 2 of Vimana's. See you around the grind and let's travel more in time and space. If you love this podcast, Click the link below, like, share and comment and spread the word of information. Until then, peace and out.